how are you doing i trust you are doing very well ah fine good so here is the before uh, where we got to talk about where we get to talk about microsoft excel you know i'm recording this video after our class so i would have actually loved to show my face but i am doing this in the night so pardon me um my name is rtl and i will be teaching you some tips and tricks you know getting some problems solved using microsoft excel so let's dive in mm -hmm. Uh oh okay let's dive in yeah we're diving in this way <laughs> right so what is microsoft excel okay um just as you can see on my screen it's it's like a digital magic notebook i don't know why i'm using the word magic i'm giving an assignment i just use magic but i guess i'm just trying to make it fun for you to understand i don't want you to see it as oh microsoft excel is one crappy tool it's a fantastic tool and then once you are able to relate with it as something fun I, I bet you it's it's just always going to be fun to use so it pretty much helps you to organize and calculate things right it's not just any notebook it's 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 amazing instead of writing with a pen you type in a cell you know it has little boxes you can put numbers you can even put content words and pictures you know but the best part is that imagine you are planning a party and you want to see who is coming you know you can make a list of names and mark yes for those who are coming and then you can mark no for those who are who can't come and as we count how many years and how many no's you know pretty much just straightforward so prior to the class i shared this document so let me just head over there i shared this document and i said that you should do this manually but um tamilore and um, Angela were able to do this with the Excel okay and what I was expecting is I just wanted you to you know get started with the grocery list so it was more of I wanted to practice creating a grocery list include the prices performing the calculations categorizing them as I said manually so just to get to understand the process before using Excel so ask you to draw a table, you know, the item name, the price, the quantity, the category, <coughs> excuse me, and their subtotal respectively. So some of the guys in the physical class also got this done. And um, they got it done by listing the item. And then we went ahead to do more calculations. Right. So your, your tax was that okay you should assign prices you should calculate their subtotal and get the total cost and then create a column for categorization right and then we have this discussion so i'm going to show you my own excel but let's move on now you know basically just like i said earlier it's a spreadsheet program developed by microsoft excel okay microsoft Excel organizes data in columns and rows and allows you to do a mathematical functions. It runs on Windows. I am using a Mac, so it runs here. It runs on Android devices. It runs on iPhone, iPad. It runs on, you know, it has advanced. The first version was actually in 1985, very first version. And it has gone through, you know, rigorous changes through the years. Now we have an you know, amazing version of Microsoft Excel that does way, way more, you know, do fantastically with data analysis. So I am using a Mac and I can tell you that 95% similarity on all Microsoft Excel version. If you are using Windows 7 or you are using Excel 2007, you still get pretty much amazing things done because, you know, there is, there is similarity on all the version. So let's take a sneak peek into how Microsoft Excel looks like. This is actually an older version. By the time I switch to my screen and I share my screen with you now on how my Microsoft Excel looks like on my Mac, you would be able to tell. Okay, but what is 
unique to oil is that there are cells each of these are cells just look at the way I, the label goes let's just run through that this is a mouse pointer um, you click here to open Excel workbook there is an there is an, an, an a particular icon that looks like a question mark help and you can see it right here okay this is where you close this is where you minimize um, this is the zoom, zoom slider at the bottom here I hope you can follow my mouse you can use this to view buttons correctly to, to set to normal view paid lay, print layout and the rest these are workbooks and then it contains worksheets right this is um, your undo command this is the redo command then you click this to add more command to the quick access toolbar this is the mouse pointer I mentioned that earlier and then you know this is the file menu you have a quite a number of menu here so let's head down to Microsoft Excel and attempt that activity this very activity we want to do this activity so we are going down to Microsoft Excel right here okay because I have done this before the class I am going to do something now so now when you launch your Microsoft Excel this is what we get if you are using my kind of version the office 365 this is what you get you get a blank workbook you can actually take a tour but that's what I'm doing for you right now you have different templates and you can search online for templates too you can see you make a list track my task list manage my money personal budget family budget right credit card pay off calculator and you know the list goes on and on and on right you know very beautiful visual you can use Excel but for the purpose of this class we're just going to stick with blank workbook because we want to create we want to understand you know the basics of Microsoft's Excel so I have my blank workbook selected and then I'll click on create yes so let's go so I'm going to create a new Excel workbook so just like I mentioned earlier this is a workbook it can have tons or, or a number of worksheets so you can see where my mouse is at the bottom here this is sheet one I can add another sheet and I call it sheet two I can rename this sheet and call this grocery list I can call this um, maybe family budget I can I can have quite a number of sheets that makes up a workbook and this Excel is very powerful so you see each of these cells they are actually unique to themselves so when I am on a these are columns all right and these columns goes on up to Z after the Z you know you, where you start from the alphabet A, you then have a a combination of a a a b after a z you have b a combination up to that to the b z and then it goes on likewise the numbering too all right on the rows the numbering too goes you know goes on and each of these cells are easy to identify now forget the fact for the fact that i am using a, a dark screen right my cursor is on b column b and then this cell that is i actually on where my cursor is on is on row two so this makes this to be b2 and any cost any cell that i am on there is this formula bar it will always display so it shows here now that i'm on d8 without necessarily trying to trail this is d and my highest focus on the 8 like okay yes I can see this is where it's highlighted this is where it's also highlighted the 8 I can look easily look into my address bar my formula bar beg your pardon and then I will know the sheet that is actually active okay so now let me run you through some these are um, the menu the home tab currently selected um, this is the insert draw page layout if you remember what we did during microsoft word you know it's kind of have um, some 
especially for the home in search that and then for view okay this is a menu that you also find in microsoft word but for formula page layout review data data right this because it does more with data analysis okay so let's move on now with the activity that we have to do which it involves we listing out the grocery items so let me go head back to that document so i'm supposed to have a column uh, that, ha that will be named item name price quantity category so i'll start that i can start from the very top and if i want for neatness i can start down here but let's just stick with it item name I have price I have I am pressing tab to move to another cell I press my tab key to move to another cell category and then sub total so you can I can also do something to have a serial number so if I need to add another column to the left or to the right I simply click on the column once I place my cursor to the header of the column so I am on on a now and it changed to that arrow facing down I'll just right click it okay and I'll say insert automatically to insert to my left so I want to bring in serial number just to be able to make it cleaner so let's add this item so let's start I would like to have them um, rise I'm pressing enter right now. Let's say beans. Um, Indomie. I'm typing in, in capital. Spaghetti. Um, ice cream. Yes, bread. Butter. Tin tomato. Um, let's say I'm buying chin chin jar. Let's say juice. Okay, I'm listing grocery items. Juice. Let's say I'm buying um, tissue paper. Let's say I'll pick. Let's say seasoning cube. Let's say whatever. But after this, I'll just stop so that we can have we can we can we can move further. So let's say chocolate chuck chuck chocolate so now their price is price hmm let's just um, say 48,000 beans let's say 25,000 indomie is 4,800 spaghetti let's say 600 naira ice cream let's say 3,000 naira bread is now 1,200 naira butter is 2,700 Tin tomato, the big one, let's say four five. Chin chin, let's say two five. Juice, let's say four thousand. Uh, tissue paper, let's just say it's about um, nine hundred. Hot peak, let's say it's about um, four thousand five hundred. Let's say seasoning cube, let's that give that to be three thousand two hundred. And chocolate, hmm, let's say four thousand. Now these are all these items. I want to show you a trick because I know that this for quantity I'm supposed to just say okay this is one this is two uh, this is another okay now I want to just use the opportunity to, to, to let you know that there is something called autofill so if I am typing in multiples and let's say I say five and then the next one is ten oh no I don't want to put that ten there ten here and then I select these two I hope you can let me try to make it bigger so that you can see my screen very well fantastic now once i select i select by having my cursor on five and then i'm holding my shift key and then i click on 10 all right that's d3 so i want it to apply to the next two rows if i pick it automatically the next one will be 15 because it knows that i am counting in five so you can see 15 then 20 you can see all right so if i change again and i'm saying we i put the next one to be six it automatically knows that i'm counting in in, in three 
So the next one will be 9, 12, 15. Alright? So if I want to do odd number 2, maybe I say 1 and then I say 3. Okay? If I select this 2 and then I scroll it to the end, it just comes. So I am just using the opportunity to let you know about autofill. Of course, the quantity you can always enter it manually for each one. So category, of course, uh, full stop, juice and uh, drinks and all that. That will be what you are going to fill here. So you just say full stop, and then it goes on. For subtotal, this is where it's getting interesting. For subtotal, of course, you know manually. It means I am going to multiply 4,800 by 5 or 5 by 4,800. So to do that, Excel does this calculation for you, right? All you just need to know is formulas. There are tons and tons of formulas, amazing formulas, right? That can help you to do some analytics, you know, and faster, quicker, visual presentation for you to be able to make some informed decision. So... In Excel, um, once I press equal to, I know that there are other ways to do it. The formula bar, you can also get in here once you are on a particular cell. But what is smarter is be on that cell where you want the, re the answer to be. Press your equal to and move your cursor to where you, with the first number you need to perform the operation on. So I want to multiply 4800 by 5. So the formula for multiplication is asterisk and if I hold my shift key down and press number 8 on my keyboard, I'll get the asterisk. So I also move my cursor again to the D2 where I have the 5. Then I press enter. It automatically gives me 240,000 because 48,000 times 5 will give me this. And I need to do it for the rest. Okay? But I'm lazy. I don't want to start typing each of them doing it and I told you about autofill I just want to use the opportunity to let you know about you know, some of this quick way and smart way to get your way around Microsoft Excel okay so one way I can do it is if I press ctrl C which is a shortcut to copy on this answer that I've gotten from the first one here it will just apply the same formula because excel is intelligent it knows that, okay yes you are trying to multiply each row by the other side you know each cell by the other side so it automatically applies it so let's do that so i'll press my control c which is copy all right and then paste it's not going to paste 24 it will rather paste 25,000 naira, um, naira times 10 quantity so I'm pasting it. You can see that will be give us two fifty thousand naira, right? Now, if I don't want to do it that way, I can just that's one way. Another way for me to fill it down is to ensure that I am right there on that cell. I'll just drag it down. It automatically just you know fill in the corresponding subtotal for each items. What I'm doing is, is just what I have done here, which is autofill. Excel has some intelligence to get this done. So, and that's how you multiply. Once you multiply, multiplication is just by using this, this sign. If I need to do addition, so I'll just press equal to, let's say I need to add. So if I want to add this, that cell, I press my plus sign, and then I also move the cursor to where I need to add it, so I press enter. Okay, you can see that that is the answer. If I need to do a deduction, subtraction, so I, I use the my equal to again, press the minus as well, use my cursor, move around it, and press the other. So you can see. I just wanted to show you that that is also possible. Now, I hope you are following. All right, and pardon me that you are not seeing my face, but I hope you are, you are following just because I'm doing this in the middle of the night. And I want to make sure that it gets to you timely so that for those of us who miss the class, we can practice and then give an attempt to the assignment. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> so now, when I need to sum it up, I need to sum up all the 
the soap total so that I know how much we've actually spent on groceries. So here I can type grand total, right? And I can come here. There is something we call sum in Microsoft Excel. Still with the formula. So I'll make sure I'm on the home tab, right? Because I was on, I think I was on the data tab. I would come here, right? This this up summation, this this sign, you know that in maths it's for sum. Although there are other other um, formula in where we have this sum. There's average, there's count, max, and mean, and then more function. But I just want to do with the sum right now. So I'll click on the sum, and then if you look at it, it just recognizes that since my cursor is here, I'm trying to perform the total of all the subtotals, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'll just make sure that I click on that place, on the cell, which is F17, then I'll press enter, or I'll click on this mark sign here, which is to accept it. Once I do that, the total is there. Now you can see it has calculated everything. The total of all these sub items. The same way I tap on or I press my shortcut key, which is Ctrl C. If I want to calculate the total of all uh, quantities, all unit price, I will just copy it as well. And then I can paste it. I can paste it. So what it does is I'm copying the formula that, okay, copy the way you have added this sum for me and had the sum of this column too and equally had the sum of this column. I hope you get it. You can pause this video and watch it again. Now, welcome back. Now let's move on to next one thing. You will see that um, my grand total here, my chocolate, my seasoning cube, my tissue paper, appears to be entering in and it's not feasible so there are about a um, few ways to get it you know ensure that I can see it and resize that column I can either be at the edge of the column and when it turns to this tiny plus sign I will just double click it adjusts the column you will see now that everything is obvious and I can view it right but if for instance now let me undo it if for instance some of these columns so are equally not visible so let me just be deliberate about that let's be deliberate about that right it's not it's not it's tiny and i really do need to ensure that they are well spaced out you know i'll just ensure that i click on all the column i can click anywhere any edge of any column once i double click it it automatically just you know ens ensure that each content fit into the into the cell into the row and column the way it appears you can see that it has even helped me to shrink my serial number all right so now let's even insert that serial number it's just the same way we ought to fill the earlier so i want to add my one and i want to add my two okay so since i wanted to increase it to where the end of this document is uh, of the list i'll just click on that and this is it so i have 14 items in my grocery list okay so now you can see hmm. as you can see again you realize that my numbers are not so readable because there are no comma separated here and i'm not able to read them clearly how to count the number of zeros so Excel can do that for you. So all I need to do is just to ensure I select it. All right, let me just select all of this. On the home tab as well, you would see there is an icon, there are tools for formatting the comma style. This is it. So once I click on it, I would be able to apply comma. I do not want decimal places. So I'll reduce it. I'm reducing it. Another way to go about it is to still select all. All right. Right click it and pick on format cells. Hmm. 
When you pick on command set, format set, cell, you will then see number. You can say use the separator, 1000 separator. I do not want decimal places, so I can take it off and I say OK. You can see it has applied it as well. So that's how those are um, the items that those are what we discuss during the class and I have another video that has your activity but before we go in this class we have been able to understand that we can have multiple worksheets and then all these worksheets makes up a workbook we have been we have been able to do um, some calculations we actually stayed with multiplication and we demonstrated addition and subtraction we showed also auto filling we also applied number formatting so these are pretty, pretty way to get some things done and the solution that we have provided with this example is that we have been able to um, present a grocery list so if i also want to add currency into this I can get it done as well which is here you can see the nearer sum this is because during the setup of this Microsoft Excel I have specified that my sign is nearer and some of the latest version of of um, Microsoft Excel comes with quite a number of currencies but the older versions usually just have dollar so I want to apply the Nera sign for all prices. All what I just need to do is to ensure that I select it and then I come to currency. You can see the same thing applies to the subtotal. Okay, and then I come to currency. now you can see so that has been applied there right so this is what we did during our last class we also went ahead to create a, a bar chart so i will just quickly do that for for us now let me first of all try to remove the nearest sign here okay So now, I will then what I want to do is I want to plot the items against their prices. I can do it one way, just, just so that you can see the possibility of a bar chart. I selected the two variables that I want to plot. Once I have this selected, I will then come into the menu. No, I take that back. Apologies reduce this okay I hope you can see, see my screen okay I will come to the menu and then I select insert and I will then pick column this is where I can get some bar charts so I'll be going with the 2d column so I just want to visualize it so with this it tells you that rice is actually the one that is the most expensive so if I bring this chart down let me bring it down to where it's clear let me just try to resize my my Excel okay okay right so if I change any price <coughs> excuse me if I change any price, so I see my spaghetti is really, really down the line. So let me try to change the spice of spaghetti maybe to 2000. Right? You can see it's a little bit up. Now, I want you to notice that there is a difference between being on a sale 
and being in the cell all right so i i am on this cell now but if i need to change it 3000 to 35 i have to go in the cell so to do that i have to double click it you see that i double click it or i click on the formula tab and i will be able to see the number there so now that i've double clicked this tab this um ice cream and i want to change it to 3500 i will be able to because as it is now i am in the cell so i hope with what we have covered here now you can pause the video at intervals and watch it and then cre create your own okay thank you for staying with me to the end of the class thank you for not demanding that why did she show her face <laughs> Thank you for your understanding. I really love the way you are making, you are bringing your creativity to reality. This is a real life problem you are solving here. And you are going to love the assignment that you will be working on. So till I see you on Monday, stay blessed. Bye-bye.